Alrighty, it's just one crappy weekend here. Look at this. Small craft advisory. Rest of today, 15 to 20 knots with some gusts to 25. Sunday, east 15 or 10 to 15. Monday, east southeast 10 to 15. Tuesday, won't be until it calms down. And of course, Wednesday, south winds 5 to 10 knots. If you actually go to the weather station, right at the boat ramp, gusting to 21, sustained 17. Air temperature was almost 50, but the wind chill has it down at 41 degrees. And look at this. This morning was pretty calm. And then it got up to 25 knots right there, folks. North, northeast. Boy, it must be brutal out there. That right there, that picture, is the weather station next to the Mayport Public Boat Ramp on the pilot dock. All righty, check it out, check it out, check it out. There is the lure that I posted on my community page. I also called it the turd. I posted this on my community page. I'm referred to him as the turd lure. But it's actually a walk the dog by Sledgehammer Lure Company called the Frantic Fred. The big Frantic Fred. Nine inches, three and three quarters. Proudly made in the United States. The ultimate twitching, popping, and walking, cranking top water lure. Frantic Fred floats slightly tilted in the water. This tilt action, left to right, front and back, makes it the most versatile top water bait ever. I've been spying on this lure for months and months and months, and here it is. I didn't care about the color, but. A low rumble. I like low rumbles. Looks like a turd. That's okay. See that line pull? And this tail makes it drag. This is going to be a super inshore go go to. That's what this is going to be. A super inshore. So Stick with me, because I am going to show these as many as I can, one at a time. Maybe two at a time, I don't know. But there you go, the Frantic Fred Turd Lure. It's a musky bait, nine inches. Looks like a mullet to me, and that's what it's going to look like to Mr. Trout Redfish Jack. Who the heck knows? We're gonna see here shortly, folks. Go big, or just go home. Alrighty, I'm at the El Cheapo Sheep Shed Tournament, and I got the bucket of fish cleaning supplies, the white boots on, the fish cleaning jacket, the slicker pants, plus the flazol, blades, charger for the Makita. I'm ready to go. Let's see what happens. Two pounds, four and a half. Two, two pounder. All right, let's see. Ten point nine four. Ten point nine four. Wow, got really close. Uh, Oh. And that one is still kicking too, so we know it's fresh and it has not been caught last week and put in the freezer. Five point nine oh. Five point nine oh. All right, well that's going to put you on the leaderboard. Something. That's good for uh, number three. It looks like. And in this tournament, it looks like just about everybody's going to be. Well, not everybody will be a winner, but there'll be a lot of people. Who Woo! 
big old rose hat. Got it. Thanks, sir. It's go time.
Jacksonville Offshore Sport Fishing Club El Cheapo Sheepshead Tournament. Yeah, there was still a lot of fish caught. A lot of fish caught. A lot of big, heavy females. You saw what I just did for the last four plus hours. And, uh, man, I am glad I wore my slicker pants. But still, I got to clean everything up. I did everything with the Flazol. Thanks to the old Cap Paul from Flazol Blades. Ah, uh, I know. I got to I got to sharpen them or something. I believe. But all right, well thanks for watching. And uh well that's a little action from a blowy windy chilly March 7th, 2020. to do. I think I'll go fishing. Scare away the blues. I'm going fishing.